Hello, my name is Mitch, and today we're going to be working on a hipped roof. Now you might ask yourself, what is a hipped roof? As we look at our color palettes over here with all the blocks we're using. Well, it's also known as a hip roof, and it kind of slopes off in all directions. If you're building on top of like a square building, oops, it'd be more like a pyramid, I guess you could say. Let's bring this around here. Then do, do, then... Like right there. I don't know if we're going to try to bring this all the way around. Let's just get the front end done and then see how it looks. This is another popular one because it's fairly easy. You just go around placing stairs for the most part. Go in here again. Doot, doot. See? It's very easy. Very simple idea of design. See, right here I don't like that though. Did I have that same problem over here? Well, yeah, this one goes this way. Yeah, I turned that one. That's why it's not doing that. Aha. So there we go. That kind of takes care of that. And then we'll turn this. Well, see, it's already starting to come together with a good roof design. Now, do we want to keep going up? That's the next question. We could stop here, but let's keep going. Let's see what this ends up looking like. Oops. Come on. We'll do those upside down. Bring these out. Right here it starts getting complicated because you forget which ones you put blocks on and which ones you have not. And then we'll bring this out right here. And then, okay, yeah, we're turning these inside. Let's go back over here and turn this one inside. Oops that so that way you don't see any empty holes or gaps in all honesty this is probably as high as I would probably take this so you go like that you put a good slab give it a good slabbing <laughs> and then pretty much you'd be done let's go ahead and extend this one side out here a little bit of course you go all the way around the house too for timing sake we're just going this far See, that already, that's nice looking little roof there. All stairs. What happens if we keep going up though? Let's give it a shot. Let's see, uh oh. I did something different here. This goes. It's one, two. Grr. See, here's another roofing problem. Okay, that's five across. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll turn this one this way. And then turn this one this way. Hmm. Why is that doing that? Because of that one? I don't know. But anyway, you get the basic point here. You just keep going up with stairs. Go around here. Then we'll do like that. And we'll do like that. That's a corner. This is not a corner. Maybe that's where I'm screwing it. Aha! Figured it out. Oh! Now we've fallen all the way down. Let's keep bringing it up. Right there. It keeps getting smaller as you go along here. Put those two upside down. And another thing to remember when you're building these roofs and things is to keep a pattern going for yourself. Do one side, then do the other side. Or however it works out in your own brain. We'll do it like that. Bring this out here. And then side, oops, around the bottom, and then click on the bottom over here. And then we go do 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 do. There, that's how the whole big thing would look. Really, I don't like it that high. Mainly because I think I screwed up somewhere. I would keep it at that original height that I stopped at. 
I think that, for the most part, looks better. But you tell me, which one do you like more? Like down, like right about here. Because then that leaves you more building space on top if you wanted to like maybe add a second floor. Which would, could be cool. But like saying right there, I like it. So I hope you liked this too. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me which kind of roof type you'd like for me to cover next. And I will see you guys again next time.